USA and Sunbelt possible merger. Now, we have talked on the show about this before, about how just kind of absurd it is that we have these smaller schools flying all over creation uh, just to play games in basically front of nobody, right? The TV contracts aren't that big. Um, a lot of them are, are hemorrhaging money, really, and especially right now. Uh, this is a, a serious situation for a lot of these smaller schools. Um, I The Sun Belt Conference USA merger was, was originally brought up by uh, Louisiana's uh, Louisiana Lafayette's athletic director. Um, and he said, you know, time is running out. We need to set this up. And, and it was kind of bounced back and forth a little bit. And they are discussing the idea of basically taking regional teams from these two different conferences and kind of creating this massive, um, what would you call it? A massive super conference almost. You know, make it like a 24-team conference and just kind of have everybody play against everybody, but make it where, what did this say? Um, to help cut down on travel costs, merging just some make of the it neighboring more regional. Wins. And he said, uh, basically combining the schools that are regionally close to each other and forming an alliance so that Sunbelt and City USA programs could bus from city to city rather than flying long distance from one part of the country to the other. Uh, if you look at the situation, uh, what he's suggesting is like an Eastern Division that would consist of Liberty, App State, Marshall, Middle Tennessee, Old Dominion, Western Kentucky, Charlotte, Coastal Carolina, Florida Atlantic, Florida International, Georgia State, and Georgia Southern. Now, that's a lot of schools. I get that. Isn't Liberty independent? It is, but if you're going to have equal teams or whatever, bring them in for a season, and that way their schedule is is set up, as opposed to Liberty. So, but Liberty would have to sign off on that then. Yeah, they'd have to sign off on that. But yeah. you, you bring those in, and that way it's even number of teams, and all of because Liberty is right there along with um, App State and Marshall and Middle Tennessee and Old Dominion and it, those they're right next to each other. Like there's no reason why they should all be flying all over creation to play whoever, right? Oh, completely agree with that. So on the other side, the Western Division would be Louisiana, Louisiana Monroe, Louisiana Tech, South Alabama, Southern Miss, Troy, UAB, Arkansas State, New Mexico State, uh, North Texas, Rice, Texas State. UTSA and UTEP. Now, New Mexico State, again, another independent. But if you just want to toss them all in there together, that way you your schedule fills out and it's not too far of a distance because New Mexico State, right next to UTEP, uh, right next not right next to, but closer to UT San Antonio, uh, Texas State, Rice, North Texas, etc. That's the situation here. You can have games like UAB and Troy. You can have games like Louisiana Tech and Louisiana Monroe or Louisiana Lafayette. You have these regional matchups, right? And it, I think it is a very interesting and smart way of going no, about for business. This, for this year's college football, we've talked about this. Yes. The small market teams, conferences, really need to look at finding ways to play regional. There's just no reason for them to be flying all across the country to play games when, when schools are hemorrhaging money right now. And, and, and honestly, and they, it would be much more entertaining to watch UAB play against uh, Troy. Or, or Southern Miss, as opposed to, you know, whoever, UAB against uh, uh, Louisiana Lafayette. Like, I think that would be entertaining. I think that would be more entertaining than watching UAB go all the way up to Virginia to play against Old Dominion, you know? Uh, yeah, completely agree with all of that. The, the You know, the two conferences, basically the commissioners need to get together and they need to make a decision, and you basically got to – each commissioner is responsible for getting his schools on board – the the you know the flying the ointment is you've got two independent schools that they're independent for a reason you know yeah. they they like doing whatever the hell they want to do and unless they've already had discussions with both of those schools and, and, and you can leave those two out if you want to that yeah if you've yeah. got an eleven team schedule just go play it literally but that leaves you the option to be able to take one one you know pay for pay for loss and and go get a big check and play some big school and get the hell beat out of you, and then come back to your regional conference. Uh, Huey said, playing regionally, you get family people there if they are local kids, plus you get a better rivalry because they're recruiting the same kids, and kids want to show off to the other school that didn't want them. Yes, 100%. Well, 80% of these kids are are local, I would bet, at smaller schools. Oh, they just yes. are. 100%. Um, now, the we get into this 
And then you actually hear from one of the ADs, right? So the AD at Louisiana is the one that originally brought this topic to the public and was like, this would be a smart move. Now, Louisiana Tech's AD, Tommy McClelland, said there is no chance he sees Louisiana getting an opportunity to join Conference USA. Now, I asked you this before we went live today. I said, do you think the Sun Belt or Conference USA is a, a bigger football conference? Like, which one? Like, is there a pecking order with this? I really think they're about as equal as you can get. I, I really think the do. Sun Belt is a better football conference. Maybe Conference USA is a better conference for all sports. I mean, Conference USA is definitely bigger. Um, yeah, it's bigger, but yeah. but only by a couple schools. of schools. Yeah, but when you got you know App State and Louisiana and Georgia Southern and whatever, I mean, I think I think the Sun Belt's a pretty damn good football conference. This is the the quote. From, or the quotes, from Tommy McClellan, the Louisiana Tech AD. He said, let me be very frank and very direct. There is no conversation at Conference USA, nor is there any interest. And I think that's, I don't know how direct I can be with that, McClellan said in the video below. Uh, the La Tech AD didn't stop there, however, based on his comments. It's fair to say he doesn't believe the Sun Belt adds much value to the Conference USA brand. He said, I think if I were in Lafayette's position, I'd be trying to figure out a way to move up to a level like Conference USA. And so, you know, congratulations on the conversation. But I think for us, you know, you've got to understand, if we all of a sudden decided there was going to be a membership expansion in Conference USA, I think there would be numerous individuals from the Sun Belt that would be interested in joining and paying a premium that we all pay to be in this league. So I think there will be individuals that would be interested in that. If their league expanded, I don't think there would be anybody in our league that would be interested in that. So I think that's the litmus test on a merger. I, I'm shocked. So he, he sounds like he's talking from they're trying to join Conference USA. We're talking about a one-year Band-Aid, bro. Yes. I, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little in shock that he's talking about how Conference USA is so much better than the Sun Belt. I'm, when you asked me that, I thought, and my response was, is I would maybe take the top tier, the top tier of Conference USA over the top tier of the Sun Belt. But I don't even know that that's true. No, I didn't. When you've got App State and Georgia Southern and Louisiana, that, that those is the top three from really the last couple of seasons. Louisiana and App State, I like more than Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern's a gimmicky school with the yeah. with the triple option. Agreed. It's, Agreed. It's different. It's different. Um, but but App State, they kind of the, the I mean, biggest it, boy in that pond. Conference USA last Louisiana, year, Louisiana won by Florida Atlantic. Right, Marshall always typically has a pretty good a pretty good team. Um, yeah. Middle Tennessee. You know, when they had Rick Stocks to, or uh, Brent Stock still as their quarterback was really good. Now they dropped off last season, but you know Rick is still there. He knows how to build a program. I mean, they've got good schools across the board. Like I, I think both of them have some really upper level. They teams. they were about as even as two conferences could be that you're going to compare. Damian said he's been listening to Matt Lafleur. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, that's the deal, right? It, it's it's so insane to me that uh, the Louisiana Tech AD thinks of himself that highly over Louisiana Lafayette. Like, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, now I really want this to happen, and I, I really, really, uh, really want to see Lafayette and Tech play. I, I want to see them play anyway. I want to see Louisiana Monroe yeah, play but now, against Tech. Now, like, now you got a whole lot of salt in that. Now oh. you got one team that has to show up or it's an embarrassment, and the other team that just wants to rub salt in that wound. Oh, you got that right. That is uh it it's crazy. It's it's crazy talk, but man, I love when you get ADs firing from the hip, you know. I do appreciate the honesty. I do appreciate the opinion and the candor because you just never get that. No. You get you get all the the coach speak and all the we respect those people on the other side. No, you don't. You don't respect them at all. Just say you don't. Like we we are not talking about an SEC AD talking about a Conference USA member. Like I bet they would love to join our conference. Yeah, you know? no, no. We're talking this about, is about Conference as, USA and the Sun Belt. This is about as even as two conferences can be. Yes. I mean, they're basically I mean, the, the only same. thing I can think of is maybe, but even the bottom tier of both those school, those, those groups Conferences? are yeah. pretty, pretty low, pretty <laughs> low on the totem pole. Damien said he's another Jason Garrett fan. I saw he's coming with the zingers today, buddy. 
I said, we love you, Damien. Good stuff. I, I can't, I, I just can't <laughs> understand. I, 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 I'm glad we got this comment because it's entertaining. It's funny, but I don't really know the basis of it. Maybe we're wrong, Gary. There, Maybe there is the Conference a, USA is just so much better than we think it is. I, I mean, if you look at the money. I do worship at the feet of Bill Clark. I, I, I don't think the money is that different in, in or that different oh, in I either would, conference. I would bet they are a, a neck and neck. Now, the Conference USA schools are bigger. Like, they're bigger schools, right? And some, Well, some of them. Yeah. For the most part, I would think they are bigger. So the money probably is more. They, they probably got more money at Conference USA. Maybe. But that's irrelevant. We're trying to get a one-year Band-Aid on a jacked-up college football situation so yes. we can just get football, okay? Everybody's losing a shitload of money, all right? So this will save both you and us a lot of money. Yeah. What is, how does this not make sense to anybody? Uh, for for the schools that want to make sure that they keep their athletic departments running, uh, this is a, a no-brainer, basically. Uh, there's no reason for Louisiana Tech to be traveling to UTEP and to Marshall in the same season. Like, yeah. it, that just, it makes no sense. It's just yet, a long way to go for nothing. Yeah. I mean, especially for games that are going to be shown on, like, the NFL Network. You know? Yeah. Like, it, people aren't going to be watching college football on the NFL Network. They just don't. So, I don't know. I'd, but I would be interested to see La Tech playing against uh, Louisiana Monroe. There Louisiana are a Lafayette. lot of matchups that I would care about. The interstate matchups where those kids are being recruited by yes. all of the – if you don't go to LSU, all the other Louisiana schools are trying to get you, okay? Oh, and, yes. And, and, and there is rivalry in getting those kids, all right? 100%. I want to see those matchups. That's fun. I'm sure Texas has got a few of those as well. Um, I, I don't know that, you know – Appalachia State playing Southern Miss would be anything special or anybody would care. No, but I doubt but, that you would get that. I mean, App State against Western Kentucky could be cool. Um, okay. You know, I don't know that that would be cool, but maybe. maybe. Char- hey, Charlotte and App State are, are in the same state, and, and Charlotte is an up-and-comer, and App State is kind of the, the stable setup, you know. There's there's games that could be interesting here. Um, okay. But, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with that at all. I'm just not. I'm, I'm in. I'm for it. Any, anything that these lower group of five conferences can do to make themselves more entertaining, to get more eyes on their programs, I think it's better for all of them, yes. okay? One of them ascending to the ranks of the big boys is a win for all of them because it shows we all belong in the conversation. Yes. You can't just dismiss us all. So I, I, I think it's smart. I think it's wise. I do appreciate and like the the just complete dismissal of, of all of the Sun Belt. It's pretty awesome. The pettiness is unbelievable. I am I am all for as much pettiness as we can get. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Uh you see anything that's broken? That's it, brother. Let's that's get it. out of here. It's Friday. It's Friday. I gotta We're run. Dump anything now. You guys have been fantastic. As always, go over to the website, winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you are subscribed on all the different platforms on the podcast for sure, especially on Apple. Leave a nice review, a nice comment. Share the show out with your friends. We always appreciate that, and that helps us out a ton. So if you will just tell one person about the show, that's going to help us out. So we definitely appreciate you guys for listening and for tuning in. The chat, look, Damian, Michael, Matt, all of y'all, McKinnon jumped in. Uh, we appreciate all of you for jumping in and driving that conversation. We definitely uh, definitely thank you for doing that. Go over to tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi is back open. The casinos are rocking and rolling. Tunicatravel.com has got all the information for you to check out Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. And with that said, we are getting out of here. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on Monday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, or your favorite podcast app, visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.